Welcome back to Security Onion Essentials. In our previous session, installation part one, we downloaded the Security Onion ISO, verified it, created a virtual machine according to the minimum specs that we needed, and then actually ran through the first phase of the install, which was installing the operating system, CentOS 7. In this session, installation part two, we're now going to log back into that virtual machine, run through the Security Onion setup, let the install happen, reboot, and then log in a final time and make sure all these Security Onion services came up and installed correctly. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm starting at the virtual machine that we uh, just installed the ISO with on the previous session. I'm gonna log in with the user that we created uh, when we first installed the ISO. This could be analyst and that password that we used. And once I log in, you'll actually see that the Security Onion setup starts automatically. Now this first screen allows us to select which deployment mode that we are going to install Security Onion with. And these should look familiar. Uh, we talked about these deployment modes back in our introduction. So we have eval, which is what we're going to actually install in just a second. We have standalone and distributed. Standalone is where you install all of the components on one box. Distributed is where you would install uh, those components on multiple different boxes or nodes. And then finally, we have an import node where you are importing PCAP or log files. So again, we are selecting eval, so we'll go ahead and uh, select OK. Now choose your install condition, whether we this is a standard or an air gap install. So we just wanna make sure that the box that we're installing on right now has internet access. If it doesn't have internet access, you would select the air gap option. This system does have internet access, so I'm going to select that. Next up is selecting our operating system patch schedule. This will let you configure Security Onion for when you want it to go out and check for updates, specifically for the operating system. Now this does not update uh, all the Security Onion related infrastructure and apps like Zeek and Elasticsearch and Docker and things like that. All right, this is just for the underlying operating system. We're gonna select the, uh, the default, which is automatic. That's where updates will be installed every, excuse me, every eight hours if available. Now enter the host name, not the fully qualified domain name, just the host name that we wanna set. We're gonna say so-eval and select your management NIC. We have two network interface cards on this virtual machine. We're gonna select ENS33 for our management. Now it's gonna ask us whether or not we wanna use a static IPv4 address or DHCP. Now you could certainly use DHCP, um, but that comes with its own set of problems if the IP ever changes. And so the recommended option is to set a static address. So we'll select that now. And I'm gonna say 192.168.80.46. The bit mask for my subnet slash 24 gateway is gonna be 192.168.80.2. And DNS, I'm gonna leave uh, for 8.8.8.8, .8 .8, which is a uh, DNS server run by Google. And I'm gonna leave the default for the DNS search domain. Obviously, all of those settings should be configured for your specific local environment. It's very unlikely that it will be the exact same of what I've just entered. So now it's asking us to add a NICS to the monitor interface. So um, this is the NIC that you wanna actually monitor traffic from. So this would be the NIC that you have your span or tap connected to. So I'm gonna select ENS34. Next up is enter your home net separated by commas. Now this is a variable used by Siricata. We're gonna leave this uh, with a default. And uh, the setup is just remind us that the more services that we enable, the more memory that is required. It's reminding us that because now we have the option to enable or disable components. 
These should look familiar. We talked about each of these uh, back in the introduction. I'm gonna go ahead and install everything. This is an eval install. I wanna be able to try everything out. So I'll select all of them. We're now being asked to enter an email address uh, which will be used to create an administrator for the web interface. This is specifically for the Security Onion console. It will also be used for users for the Hive, Cortex, and Fleet. Now to be clear, Security Onion does not send any email to this email address. It is only used as a username for these applications. So I'm gonna enter analyst at acmeonions.com. Enter a password. This does need to be a minimum of six characters long. And now we're being asked of how we are gonna access the web interface. Are we gonna use an IP address, the host name, or something else? In our use case, we're gonna use a host name, so-eval, uh, to access that. That's what we're gonna type in the browser uh, to go to Security Onion. So I'm going to use a host name. Do we want to run so-allow to allow access to the web tools? Keep in mind that when you install Security Onion, by default, the only inbound port that is enabled is SSH. To allow access to the Security Onion console on the web on port 443, you do have to run so-allow and allow a certain IP address or subnet. And we can do that automatically during setup. And so I'm gonna say yes. I want to allow my subnet 192.168.80.0 slash, uh, that's gonna be slash 24. So any address on the .80 subnet is going to be able to uh, access the security ending console. Now they still have to log in using the username and password, but they can at least now access it on port 443. All right, final choice here. We are going to set this machine up as an eval install. Please press yes to make changes or no to cancel. Uh, I think we're good to go. So let's press yes. And uh, it's going to run through the install and it, it'll show you a progress bar as you go through. It's certainly going to take some time. So once again, I'm going to pause, go get some more coffee and come back once we are finished. All right, and we're back. Looks like setup has finished. Finished eval install, access the web interface, add HTTPS, SO-eval. So if you don't quite remember where you're supposed to go, this is a good reminder. Press enter to reboot. So let's press enter to restart. Now, if uh, there had been an error during install, uh, you would have gotten an error message along the way with some information about log files to check. Now, as uh, the VM starts back up, uh, we can certainly log in right away, uh, but we're gonna need to give Security Onion at least three to five minutes to start up all the components. Uh, let me show you what that, uh, what that looks like here. A little bigger for you. So if I log in right now, um, first of all, you'll see that um, there's some information here now. Access the Security Onion web interface, add HTTPS, SO-eval. Again, just another reminder uh, for how to access the web console. Now, if we want to check the status of the SO, uh, the Security Onion components, we can run SO-status, which does have to be run with sudo. So if we run that, put in our password, you'll see that we have lots of errors. And this is because we, uh, this isn't because something's necessarily wrong, it's just that we haven't given uh, Security Onion time to start up. If we look at uptime, we can see that the box has only been up one minute, right? So let's come back, um, clear the screen, come back in about three to four minutes and we'll run SO-status again. And we should see that all the components are up and running successfully. All right, so I've given it another three to four minutes and let's rerun sudo so-status. And uh, everything's looking a lot better. All right, but it's a little bit hard to see because everything went by so quickly. So let's go ahead and pipe that out to less-r. All right, 
So uh, this gives a little bit better view. So it's checking the Docker status. Docker status is green with OK. And then it checks all the other containers on the system and we get uh, OK. We can keep scrolling down and it looks like all the components are green. Everything it is, excuse me, everything is in a OK status. So that's it. We have successfully installed Security Onion all the way from downloading the ISO to creating a virtual machine with the needed specifications, running through phase one of the install, then running through phase two of the install, which was the Security Onion setup, restarting and checking all the components to make sure that they were good to go. So our next session will now take us to replaying some traffic and then looking at the analyst tools. So I'll see you next time.